All right, Julia, today we're going to make beer, right? You got the thermometer, thank you, and you got the spoon. Here we have our supplies. Thank you. Here we have the boiler, um, a secondary heater, bottles, uh, a pint of a pale ale that I just poured, remainder of the pale ale, um, a bitter that's fermenting, some bottles of pale ale, and uh, the fermenter and pressure bottle, which is I'm going to use to sparge, is now um, uh, being sterilized. All right, baby. So now we have to figure out what recipe we're going to make, what beer, and commence the process. What do you think? What a fish! All right. So. We, that's right. We decided to make. Black Knight Bitter, which according to the recipe um, is going to be a dark bitter that um, will have a creamy white head, so kind of like a stout, which Not we know Julia is going to like. You're going to like that, right, baby? Julia? Come here, baby. Now, um, I probably won't follow this recipe exactly because I am fundamentally incapable of following a recipe exactly, but it says we're going to need um, six pounds of pale malt. So if I look at my bucket here, ah, I have three kilograms of Pilsner malt. No. We know, I know we have three kilograms of pale malt here somewhere. Crushed pale malt. Three kilograms. There we go. So there's our six pounds. Then I also need three quarters of a pound of cracked crystal malt. I actually have crystal malt here. Crystal malt. Crystal malt. And we also need um, doo -doo -doo black malt. So instead of black malt, we're going to use whole chocolate malt, uh, which should be good. That'll give it that nice dark color. We also going to need Golding hops and um, Fuggles hops. Well, here's the Fuggles hops. Um, and Golding's hops we do have. I have Challenger. And I'm sure there are some Goldings in here. Oh, need a little bit of Irish moss later. Might actually use this extra dark malt as well instead of the white sugar. And here we are, Golding's hops. All right. It also says we need British Columbian seedless Golding hops, um, which I am not sure if those are. Those are choices leaf hops, um, but I might throw in a bit of Challenger hops as well, or some Azaz hops which are supposedly, was Saz, which is supposedly awesome. All right, baby. So, um, Julia, so you got that? We're all set? We got our ingredients laid out here neatly on the bed um, with your toys. We got the broiler, the brew pack broiler, heating up the water. Um, I added a little bit of calcium chloride and uh, magnesium sulfate, but should be good. And we'll see what all we right. get to. So I mixed in my chocolate malt, um, pale malt, uh, a little bit of wheat malt for a little bit of extra head, and my um, crystal malt. I think we're about ready to begin the malting uh, process. So this is my mash tun. I want to make this to about 70 degrees, actually 77 degrees. Um, and then it'll drop down to 65 or 150, thereabouts. Alright, so I think we're pretty close. What do we get to? To... Alright, so that's probably close to what we want. Alright, so now I have to add the grain into the mixture. I'm trying to do this here, one hand. So I can film it.
Mm, just smells great. It's got a nice weedy, chocolatey smell. It's brilliant, really. Alright, so. That's the mixture. I have to agree, immediately grab my spoon, which is over here, my white spoon. Make sure it's thoroughly mixed in there. I'm going to lower my temperature down to 60, which I've done, which, according to my trusty converter here, 150 degrees, 65 degrees, so make it maybe a little bit higher, and on the cautious side, and the addition of all that grain, no doubt, dropped the temperature a bit, um, and make sure it's all mixed up, I think it is, big lumps of it on the on the bottom. What we want here is good enzyme production. Amylase. Um, beta. Alright, good. Alright, so I'm going to keep mixing this up. Let's see what we get to. It smells absolutely great down there. Um, now filling the broiler again. The broiler again. We're going to see how much more wort we can collect after we uh, sparge it a couple times. I had some temperature control problems during the boiling or the initial mashing process, so um, not sure how well it turned out, frankly. The um, thermostat on the boiler is not as accurate as I would have thought. Um, I've been checking it with an independent thermometer and it went up to 80 degrees um, at one point, so just concerned I destroyed too many of the enzymes. Um, but we'll see. The uh, second runnings, I guess you'd say, a little bit lighter in color. Try to keep the sediment out. Um, there's some there. We took in the pot. Seems all right. Gallons of wort. Um, again, don't know how sweet it's going to be. Well, the color's right. Dump the grist down the drain, for the most part. Here's what's left. Six pounds of grist, or rather dried, spent uh, grist. Don't tell me. All right, now we gotta measure the um, hops. All right, well in. I made the wort boil for a while with the hops. Uh, it's now cooling. I got the bathtub running in the other room. I managed to bottle some of that beer, the bitter. It tastes pretty good. I'm going to reuse that yeast now for the purposes of uh, this batch. Uh, managed to make a minor mess of pretty much everything. But, um, All right. hopefully so it's the next morning. Um, I managed to bottle up all of the bottles uh, from the other brew I did last week. Let's see it in the... Uh, Shower. There are the bottles on the floor. Um, here's the new brew. Um, when it was hot yesterday, it tasted very much like uh, tea, or rather smelled like tea. You can see I put in some yeast from the old batch that we did yesterday, as well as a new packet of ale yeast. Um, you can see a lot of yeast on top, so a nice covering is forming. You can see a little bit of activity there. Another bubble that's going to be pushed through. Room has a nice hoppy smell. It's good. 